So, the making of, how do you feel? Dabs and hash oil, it's coming together. I feel like the past few days leading up to this have been wild. Yeah, I feel they hating me cause I'm getting mine. But what they don't realize is I've been here for a minute and that's a long time and I'm with it. I came from the smallest state and I did it. I keep my brim low on my feet and I got the <laughs> Managers, all the managers, this manager, that manager, this person, that person. Hotels, flights, people, a lot of fun time. Egos, DJs, club owners, paperwork, all being done with a couple of hands. It's not gonna get done unless you do it like this. That's basically how it goes down. So artists out there, step your game up, man. Just having a phone and writing lyrics doesn't mean that you're a rapper. There's a lot more to this shit. Tell us about how you got Nori on the track. Um, me and Nori met through the pharmacist and um, we did a couple of the cannabis all-stars for him, which is a big thing out in New England. And um, this is the skunk right here, Funk, for the pharmacist in you know, Rhode Island. But um, So we did the all-stars twice and we kind of grew a little relationship and we, we wanted to do a song and we just waited for the timing to be right and then uh, the pharmacist made everything having pretty much with uh, Nori's people and set it up and Nori came right to my house studio and we chilled, shot guns, recorded a banger. Now we're about to shoot the video, got the album release party tonight, the Ole Miss. It's October 3rd, tell us about how long you've been working on this track. Um, I had I had Nori 16, he killed it, we were all in there, you know what I'm saying? Louis was on the boards, Louis Wolf was on the boards and I was in there, we were all in there working. He laid a 16 and my boy Killer Kai from Cali made the beat, who's um, Faith Evans' nephew. He worked with Young Jeezy, Busta Rhymes, Robin Thicke, some big names. He did the production, and um, Nori did a 16, and I sat on it for a while because I was really confused. I had my 16 ready, and then I was like, you know, this isn't the one. I wrote like three more verses, took the hook, and scrambled it together and pieced it together. It, it took a few times for me to put it together before I was actually happy with, enough with it to, to play it for everybody, and then uh, it, turned, it turned out well. How are we doing the video for it? So I guess it's. What was your inspiration to do the to do the hook with Noriega? Um, right now, what's going on with like you know the community of like ma medical marijuana and what's going on and like the lifestyle like no rappers really brought to the table you know what's going on with the whole dabs and hash oil scene. You know what I'm saying? Some people you know they talk about weed a lot, flower a lot, but um you know the hash oil and the dabs is like a, a whole different movement that's popping off. It's um. Serious, you know, read, in, read into it, do your Google research. I don't want to give you too much, but there's a lot of people already hip to the game, but there's also a lot of people that don't know what it is yet. So, me and Nori are going to bring it to that that bigger platform and, and uh, introduce it to the world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and tonight we're shooting the videos. Anybody you want to thank for making this happen? I want to definitely thank um, my management, CMG, the pharmacist, um, my man at Camacho did it, Camacho, Louis Roca. Smiley, Flawless Visuals, um, Focus, Norman Bates, me, myself, and I. Um, <laughs> my man G Payne for all the, you know what I'm saying, should send in love with the photography, and my cousin with the um, the models, and my boy Aaron who made all the banners, and he made, you know, Nori's management. You know what I'm saying? I want to say thank you to uh, Nori's management. And uh, I mean, the whole thing just came together, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. I'm just a, a kid from Rhode Island that grew up and just fell in love with hip hop music and I'm bringing a platinum artist to my backyard to a club at the beach where I did my first show. I don't, I don't see how you can knock me for that, man. You know, respect my hustle, respect my grind. I've been doing this for a long time, since high school. I'm still doing it, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm way past really what you think of me. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, I'm in forward motion. Got my foot on the gas pedal running 110 octane. Can't catch me. Right? I had a bugging off the dabs and the hash oil. You, I had a bugging off the dabs and the hash oil. You, I told focus, let's just focus on the cold English. They still selling my slang. I call that.